overweight. So uh, what happened was, I was at work and I had some scissors problem, right? So uh, I realized that I could solve it by using grid. But you know grid, like grid versus flexbox, what they say is flexbox, you use it to do uh, single dimension layouts, right? Whereas grid, grid, you use it for two dimensions, X and Y. So I realized that I use grid in the X direction only, but uh, only that can solve my problem. So I, two months ago, I changed company. I joined NTUC Link. That's not the, not the supermarket. That's fair price. I joined the link, which is the loyalty program. So like link points, plus card. I think you all use Grab, so you probably don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, I joined to work on their website. So one of the first things I noticed was, let me just change out oh, this. Hmm? I can't see anything. Oh shit. Okay. So one of the no things I noticed was, you see this stripe at the bottom here, right? Let me just simulate a smaller screen. Uh, I can't resize it. Wait, huh? Where's my mouse? Okay. So this this uh strap at the bottom. I'm gonna guess how it's done. As you can probably guess, it's an image. Uh. That's why it's auto sizing. And on my screen at home, on various screens, it, it looks quite bad. So, this is like what it looks like on most screens. My screen at home is like a white screen, so it looks terrible. So, what? what uh, so, I was guessing what, what happened? Why did this happen, right? And my guess was I think when the designer and the previous developer worked on this. Uh, website, they received a mock-up from the designer, and that mock-up is exactly... I lost my mouth again. Uh, that mock-up is exactly like this, this width. That's why now like the font size is correct, the alignment is correct, but any other, any other uh, screen size, it just looks off. So, um, the first thing I did was to how to fix these problems, and a lot of times when you solve these kind of CSS problems, you kind of narrow down like what are your minimum requirements. So you start with like uh, the simplest problems, the easiest low hanging fruit problems. Number one, I want to use text because uh, because you fix the font size issue because now the image is, is, is auto sizing, it's over the place. Then you can change the text in the future and change the color in the future more easily. So that's like the, the, the easiest problem to solve, right? Second problem is I want to make sure it's fixed, it fits the constraints of the page. So there's this like container width that everything is following except for that thing itself. So number two, text position must be constrained, respect, respect the container. And how would you do that? So let me change. Uh, so if this pink box is the container and the, the white, the red, sorry, the black square is the screen, what I'll probably do is I put the text here and I put a stripe over it and maybe set it behind and put a white background on the text, right? So that's the simplest way to do it, right? So why is this not good? One problem is uh, because the gradient stretches from left to right. If I change the screen size, if you look at this part in the middle here, the gradient is affecting, like it doesn't, it's not consistent. So although this uh, I'm exaggerating this example, uh, but it's not. Uh, I can't rely on it being consistent because I know that this is a branding thing. So I know that the yellow must end there at some point. Then the gradient starts. So what I kind of narrowed it down is uh, this part needs to be this specific yellow. The text and that bar over there, and a bit on the bar on the right side. Then the gradient starts from somewhere there all the way to this uh, the other side, right? Mm. And this is the container. So the gradient needs to stretch from there all the way to the end of the container. That means that whenever the text changes, right, the gradient also changes. So okay, that's the next hardest thing. Uniform yellow stripe on the left edge. Yeah, so that's the left side. Then the right side has to I really say, adjust to the text. 
So the next hardest thing is to gradient starting point should adjust if the length of the text container changes. So attempt number one, I use Flexbox. I can actually do some live coding now. Uh, I cannot see anything. Okay, I'm not even looking at this. Now. So. My screen is a bit off. Hold on. Uh. Okay. So all I have is like a footer, a container to contain the. Hmm. Okay. A container which is the red line to contain the the, con the stuff inside it. The text is which is just this thing. Very simple markup, right? So I can just do flexbox method. So text. Uh, I'm gonna use a display flex. In the text, uh, we need a pseudo element for after the, for the bar on the right side. Next one. I already have the background image, so I cheated a bit. Uh -huh. And align items <coughs> center. Right? So far, so good, right? And maybe margin. <coughs> so I got this far, but how do I get the other bar on the left side? So there's another way I can use before. Same thing. So I got the color here. So what I'm actually doing is a bit funky. Let me just show it. Yeah. Oops. What? It's very block. You know. I'm gonna position it to do it. Left zero. So what I'm doing is actually kind of cheating. Let me just uh, z index. Mm. Oh minus one. Sorry. And where's the text? Background. So this is like the most cheap way I can do it, right? So why I don't like, so actually, I actually did this and I put it live for a while, actually staging for a while, uh, but it wasn't, I thought this was the best I could do, but I wasn't very satisfied because I, so like this part, I know that the gradient is supposed to stretch from here to here but it's only reaching here, and I'm doing the fake uh, background border, background stripe thing, in case you didn't see it. Uh, yeah, so it's like a bit of a hack, right? So my, my gradient only stretches from within this container, which I don't think was supposed to be the correct uh, design, but I lived with it for a while, then I realized that Maybe something else like grid could work. So my next challenge, number five, gradient should end at the edge of the viewport and not within the container. So number two, my second attempt with a uh, grid. So now it's not live coding, uh, live, live uncommenting. <laughs> so it's like something, <laughs> something like live coding, but let me just step by step show you, right? Uh, so footer, so actually now the workout is simpler. Hey, wait, I need to show this first, wait. Step by step, what happened is uh, why we can use grid. So grid has this uh, thing called min max, which is actually what, uh, it replaces the container, the container that I was using previously. And I can use the one FR left and right. So this is like auto sizing. But my container now is like zero to 1,400 pixels. I then set the first container on the left side, the first uh, column on the left side to be equal to that one FR and the, the, the other row to be, the other column to be the remaining space. 
So this is the CSS for that. I can then use the same technique just now. I can use display flex with the column that is bigger. I can now stretch that uh, because now I occupy the whole the whole width here. I can stretch the gradient all the way from the text all the way to the end of the the viewport, and I just dump the other the other side here there. So I'm just doing do live coding for uh, live uncommenting for this with grid. So the footer is outlined in red. The text is outlined in blue. Display grid on the footer. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna add the grid positioning onto the text. No container already. Huh? I then put the flex box on that text, and I can put that same technique just now. Uh, Got to show it up. And push it a bit. <coughs> so now it's left with the other one. The other. Oh shit. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not looking at my screen. Yeah, so I'm just doing this, and I actually can just align self center. And also just padding left. And yep, now it's live on one page. <laughs> Contact us page. So this is what it looks like now. I don't know where's my edge, but yeah, I can't really. Uh, so now it looks pretty nice. So now the gradient stretches to whatever, like yeah, it stretches to whatever width that it occupies lah. So I know this is probably something that I might not experience again. I might not have to solve again, but yeah, I'm I'm abusing grid and I'm happy with it. So, yes, thank you. <laughs> Any questions on this? Thank you, Sheldon. Thank you. Do you learn how to do this any, uh, gradient now? <laughs> 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 Just check out the plus website.